Uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, before I start, uh, let me give you a brief idea about what uh, we would be going through. We have two days. Uh, okay, class will be, and uh, uh, we have a good time. Hai. We can cover uh, almost every important aspect related to cyber, related to cyberspace, related to cyber law. Again, I will repeat this thing that uh, uh, organizing any kind of interaction on these uh, burning issues, on these emerging issues is uh, very beneficial and uh, especially for those, those who have, uh, those who are making their career. So again, in the future, um, the future, like uh, uh, these aspects, these um, these legal aspects which are related to uh, technology, which are related to science and tech, they are very important. And uh, again, uh, having those who have interest, particularly those who have interest in this field, they can be, uh, uh, they can benefit. And uh, and uh, apart from this, those who don't have, those who don't have this, uh, 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 this temperament, they can develop their temperament. And uh, again, let me, let me make it very clear that if you, if you uh, if you uh, develop this subject or if you, if you develop these issues where you interlink law and uh, uh, the technology aspects uh, let me assure you you would be in a better position uh, cyber law ki agar hum baat kare to uh, hum uh, char panch uh, broad issues ko cover karenge sabse pehle to we need to be clear with ki what uh, we mean by cyberspace because when we cyber law, when we talk about cyber regulation, ki baat karte hai, to basically our focus is on cyberspace, the space which this technique has created for itself. I'm talking about uh, uh, the, the technology of internet, the, the ICT, in, Information Communication Technology, jis se, uh, with the passage of time, it has created a lot space create kar diya hai. So we need to be clear with the cyberspace term किस तरीके से यूज में आया एंड अगेन विद अ पैसेज ऑफ टाइम हाउ इट हैज बिकम सो पॉपुलर सो इंट्रोडक्शन टू साइबर स्पेस वुड बी द फर्स्ट टॉपिक देन वी वुड बी कमिंग टू हाउ दिस हैज इमर्ज्ड ऑलराइट वी नीड टू बी क्लियर विद द हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंटरनेट एंड हमें आज तक का डेवलपमेंट हमें क्लियर होना चाहिए कि किस तरीके से शुरुआती दौर में uh, is is ka development hua tha internet ka aur kis tarike se jaise jaise time badalta gaya jaise jaise naye avishkar hote gaye kis tarike se cheeze badalti gayi to is pe bhi hum baat karenge to second broadly jo hamara broad topic hoga wo emergence hum dekhenge kis tarike se iska development hua is technique ka is technology ka iske baad jo hamara jo third aspect hoga main clear kar dunga aapko third aspect would be a very 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 special for uh, this interaction and that would be wherein we would be talking about the regulation of cyberspace yahan par hum particularly jo hamara jo primarily jo hamara that would be on uh, the legal aspects ya main regulation ki jo zarurat padi aur regulation kis tarike se banaya banaya gaya और दुनिया भर में कैसे बनाया गया हमें पता होना चाहिए क्योंकि ये ग्लोबल फेनोमेनन है एक एक ये एक इंटरनेशनल एस्पेक्ट है यूनिवर्सल एस्पेक्ट है ठीक है इसको हम एक एक छोटे इकाई में हम इसको नहीं बांट सकते तो अगेन देयर आर रीजंस व्हिच वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग तो यहां पर बेसिकली जो थर्ड हमारा जो एस्पेक्ट होगा वहां पर हम इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे किस तरीके से साइबर लॉ पर डेवलप किया गया और दूसरी चीज जो हम कवर करेंगे कि इंडिया में जो हमारा जो साइबर लॉ है वो उसकी शुरुआत कैसे हुई क्या फैक्टर्स थे किन-किन कारणों की वजह से हमें इस लॉ की जरूरत पड़ी तो ये हमारा तीसरा तीस, तीसरा पॉइंट होगा जो हम कवर करेंगे इसके बाद हम लोग बात करेंगे इनिशियल चैलेंजेस की मतलब कि जब हमारा साइबर लॉ बनाया गया इंडिया में जब साइबर रेगुलेशन की स्थापना कर दी गई तो इनिशियल लेवल पर सरकार को क्या-क्या चैलेंजेस फेस करने पड़े ठीक है क्या-क्या चैलेंजेस थे शुरुआती दौर में 
ठीक है क्या क्या चैलेंजेस थे और उन इश्यूज को उन उन कॉम्प्लिकेशंस को उन कंटेंशन को किस तरीके से धीरे धीरे दूर किया गया ठीक है तो ये इसको हम ध्यान देंगे इस चीज पर कि इनिशियल चैलेंजेस को कैसे फेस किया गया और अगेन हमेशा दिमाग में रखिए कि आ, सरकार सरकारें जो है वो कानून लेकर आती है और आ, इतना इजी नहीं होता है उनका क्रियावन उनका इम्प्लीमेंटेशन जो होता है लॉस का कुछ चैलेंजेस फेस करने पड़ते हैं और एफर्ट एफर्ट किए जाते हैं फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट साइड एंड अगेन जो जो इनिशियल चैलेंजेस होते हैं उनको 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 सेटल किया जाता है उन इश्यूज को सेटल किया जाता है तो वो उस पर हम बात करेंगे अपने चौथे हेडिंग में और जो हमारा पांचवा जो फोकस होगा पांचवा फोकस जिसके बाद की आई वुड बी ओपनिंग दिस फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ क्वेरी पांचवा जो और जो आखिरी हमारा जो अध्याय हमारा जो एक हेडिंग होगी वो होगी करंट चैलेंजेस करंट इस समय करंट सिचुएशन में क्या क्या साइबर से जुड़े क्या क्या मुद्दे हैं और किन 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 इश्यूज पे किन किन इश्यूज पे हमें काम करना चाहिए और किन किन इश्यूज पे काम हो रहा है ठीक है और अगेन फ्रॉम द रिसर्च पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू फ्रॉम एजुकेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अकेडमिक्स की तरफ से हम लोग क्या कंट्रीब्यूट कर सकते हैं ठीक है ग्रेजुएशन लेवल पे पीजी लेवल पर रिसर्च लेवल पर हम किस तरीके से आ, अपना कंट्रीब्यूशन दे सकते हैं किस तरीके से हम क्या कहते हैं इसको प्रमोट कर सकते हैं और अगेन किस तरीके से हम हेल्प कर सकते हैं बेसिकली इन द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ दिस लॉ इस पर हम बात करेंगे तो दिस वुड बी द फाइव हेडिंग्स तो आई एम शुरुआत करते हैं विद द फर्स्ट हेडिंग वेयर इन वी वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द साइबर स्पेस I just give me two minutes. Let me share uh, this uh, this PPT with all of you. Just give me two minutes. Is it visible? Yes, sir. तो जो पहली जो चीज है, that is the cyber space and introduction. All right. So here we would be starting with cyber space. So without wasting much time in this, let me just come down to this point that this gentleman, William Gibson, he for the very first time came up with this term. इन्होंने सबसे पहली बार इस टर्म को यूज किया था द टर्म वो साइबर स्पेस इन्होंने एक साइंस फिक्शन एक किताब लिखी थी न्यूरो इट वाज पब्लिश्ड इन 1984 और इस इस साइंस फिक्शन में इन्होंने डिस्क्राइब किया था इन्होंने इन्होंने साइबर स्पेस से कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क को डिस्क्राइब किया था तो कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क को डिस्क्राइब करने के लिए किप्सन साहब ने साइबर स्पेस टर्म पहली बार यूज किया About the neuromancer, let me tell you, it was the story of a hacker who used to steal data for a fee. He used to charge fee for uh, again. He used to uh, uh, like steal data and earn his bread and butter. So this was the story of a hacker. And this book, they have used the cyber space term for the first time. And later, with the passage of time, as uh, the time uh, passed, this term has become very popular. and uh, this is again uh, has become so popular that uh, we always talk about cyberspace cyberspace so kuch log virtual reality kehte hain kuch log virtual space kehte hain kuch log virtual medium kehte hain to again those who are good in the, those who have command over uh, a language they can paraphrase the things they can have their own uh, they can have their own take so one thing is there that this is a this is something virtual and again in parallel to in parallel to the physical the physical things we have around us 
बॉटम लाइन यहाँ पर जो है जो आपको हमेशा हमेशा याद रखनी है दैट इज द साइबर स्पेस इज एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ फिजिकल वर्ल्ड इन टू इन डेफिनेट स्पेस तो एक चीज जो आपको इस पूरी एक्चुअली जो पहला जो हमारी हेडिंग थी इंट्रोडक्शन टू साइबर स्पेस इंट्रोडक्शन टू साइबर स्पेस में केवल आपको एक चीज ध्यान रखनी है वो है कि जो साइबर स्पेस है इट इज एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ फिजिकल वर्ल्ड इन टू इंडेफिनेट स्पेस फिजिकल वर्ल्ड मतलब कि जो वट एवर वी हैव अराउंड अस दैट इज पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ फिजिकल वर्ल्ड एंड साइबर स्पेस इज एक्सटेंशन ऑफ डैट इन टू इंडेफिनेट वर्चुअल स्पेस Indefinite because it is as beyond that. So indefinite space, जो है वो हमें यहाँ से एक impression मिलता है कि it has so its scope is so broad. और मैं इसलिए आपको इस line के इस इस sentence को मैं focus कर रहा हूँ आपका मतलब I want to draw your focus towards because this is something which we would be using later. Uh, कुछ चीजें समझने के लिए कुछ चीजें समझाने के लिए आई वुड बी यूजिंग दिस लाइन साइबर स्पेस इज एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ फिजिकल वर्ल्ड इन टू इनडेफिनेट स्पेस सो वी आर डन विद फर्स्ट हेडिंग वी आर डन विद साइबर स्पेस एंड नाउ वी वुड बी शिफ्टिंग आर फोकस टूवर्ड्स द सेकेंड आस्पेक्ट एंड दैट इज द इमरजेंस ऑफ साइबर स्पेस हियर वी वुड बी गोइंग थ्रू द इमरजेंस ऑफ साइबर स्पेस Uh, कुछ चीजें मैं आपके साथ शेयर करूंगा प्लीज आई वांट आंसर फ्रॉम योर साइड इंटरनेट की शुरुआत कहाँ पे हुई थी इन विच पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आई वांट टू नो फ्रॉम योर साइड एनीवन इंटरनेट की शुरुआत कहाँ पे हुई थी Yes, anyone? In which part of in which part of the world internet started? So Switzerland. It was not in Switzerland. Anyone else? USA, sir. USA, sir. USA, sir. It was in USA. All right. So. I want to make one thing clear. Please don't be confused. We are often confused uh, between uh, the history of uh, internet and history of computers. Uh, though they both are interlinked, but uh, uh, the history of uh, the computers is something which already took place, which we the computers had already developed before internet came into picture. Getting my point? Uh, 1947 is very special year for us. Uh, before till 1947 we had fully functional we had fully functional fully operational according to the then research and development we had fully functional computers okay 1947 tak 1947 very special year for india so just to make the things clear to all of you then we can when we when we talk about history of uh, uh, internet this say ki with this called cyber space hum jod ke dekhte hain इंटरनेट स्टार्टेड इन यूएसए बेटा ठीक है इंटरनेट स्टार्टेड इन यूएसए एंड इट वाज इन 1969 इट वाज वे बैक इन 1969 एंड इट वाज अ जॉइंट एफर्ट जॉइंट एफर्ट ऑफ यूएस डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डिफेंस एंड फ्यू एकेडमिक यूनिवर्सिटीज एकेडमिक यूनिवर्सिटीज के साथ मिलके जो जो यूएस का जो डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डिफेंस है डीओडी उन्होंने इन्होंने इसकी स्थापना की थी इस 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 पूरी प्रणाली की स्थापना की थी It was a humble beginning. It was a just. Uh, it just had. कुछ books में लिखा है. It just had three nodes at that point of time. केवल three nodes थे उसके उस समय. और again it was used for military purpose. And uh, again uh, it. It was called ARPANET, Advanced Research Project Agency Network. ARPANET, ARPANET, Advanced Research Project Agency Network. नाम uh, था. इस इस नेटवर्क का और द थिंग वाज दैट ग्रेजुअली ग्रेजुअली विद अ पैसेज ऑफ टाइम दिस दिस स्मॉल नेटवर्क दिस नेटवर्क ऑफ थ्री नोड्स इट स्टार्टेड एक्सपेंडिंग इसमें कुछ इन्वेंशंस uh, ने बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले किया अक्सर मैं क्लास uh, में डिस्कस करता हूँ एक्चुअली दो दो देर आर देर आर मेनी इन्वेंशन बट ब्रॉडली 
मैं उन इन्वेंशन की बात शेयर करूंगा जिन्होंने मेजर जिन्होंने प्राइमरी रोल प्ले किया जैसे कि सबसे पहला जो था 1972 का टीसीपीआईपी टीसीपीआईपी इज अगेन फॉर अस आर नॉन टेक्निकल ओनली वी हैव टू हैव दिस लीगल एस्पेक्ट टीसीपीआईपी इज ट्रांसमिशन कंट्रोल प्रोटोकॉल ऑब्लिक इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल दीज वर सर्टेन स्टैंडर्ड्स स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर नेटवर्किंग हमेशा ध्यान रखिएगा एंड स्पेशली फॉर दोव इंटरेस्ट इन साइबर let me tell you that uh, uh, cyber law is another domain and cyber security is another thing and uh, when it comes to cyber security when it comes to functioning of internet when it comes to functioning of cyber space we need to be we need to be very clear with the networking what i want to share with all of you is that that computer networking networking is a soul a uh, soul of this whole network so jab tcp ip ki sthapna ki gayi 1972 mein to a networking became easier networking became speedier networking became smooth or networking jaise hi smooth hui jaise hi speedier hui iska is is puri pranali ka expansion aur badhne lag gaya theek hai to 72 mein big push milta hai isko uske baad ek bahut bada role play kiya tha dns ne dns domain names system domain name jo dns ki jab avishkar hua 1984 mein डीएनएस ने भी इसको प्रमोट किया और डीएनएस की जरूरत इसलिए पड़ी जो कि जिस प्रकार ये नेटवर्क एक्सपेंड हो रहा था जिस प्रकार से ये चीजें एक्सपेंड हो रही थी द थिंग वॉज की द इशू वॉज की जो डेटा बेस जो एक्सपेंड होता जा रहा था वो उसको उसको मैनेज करना दैट बिकेम वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू मैनेज the expanding uh, database was was becoming very difficult aur ek management ka ek bada acha principle hai aapne zarur kisi na kisi training program mein suna hoga ki proper classification agar na ho to cheeze acche se manage nahi ho pati to acche administration ke liye acche management ke liye classification is required to dns dns ke avishkar ne is classification ko uh, is classification ko possible bana diya कहने का मतलब यह है कि जो डेटाबेस था डेटाबेस को मैनेज करने के लिए डेटाबेस को एडमिनिस्टर करने के लिए क्लासिफिकेशन बिकेम पॉसिबल आपने देखा होगा आज डॉट ई डी यू डॉट कॉम डॉट आई एन अलग अलग क्लासिफिकेशन है तो इस तरीके का क्लासिफिकेशन बिकेम पॉसिबल बिकॉज ऑफ डी एन एस तो डी एन एस ने भी इसको इसको प्रमोट और आखिरी में एक चीज और मैं अक्सर डिस्कस करता हूँ डेट इज something which came up in 1989 very 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 popular and the thing which changed everything which changed the whole scenario and this was considered to be the biggest uh, the biggest thing biggest development in this in this regard and this was in 1989 and here it was that it was the time for something the most special and this was uh, www world wide web and this was invented by tim berners lee तो टेम बनर्स ली साहब ने इसका आविष्कार किया 1989 में और इसने पूरा का पूरा सिनेरियो चेंज कर दिया जिस जिस तकनीक की हम बात कर रहे हैं जिस टेक्नोलॉजी की हम बात कर रहे हैं इसने ए, इस आविष्कार ने पूरी पूरी चीजें को बदल दिया पूरा 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 सिनेरियो चेंज कर दिया डब्ल्यू 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 वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब विद दिस विद दिस देर वर बिग चेंजेस बिग चेंजेस कैसे कैसे थे मैं आपके साथ शेयर करूंगा इसको जो बिगेस्ट गेम चेंजर बोला जाता है इसको क्यों बोला जाता है कि इट ब्रॉड द रेवोल्यूशन प्रैक्टिकली प्रैक्टिकली इंटरनेट की शुरुआत डब्ल्यू से हुई थी पहली चीज वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब से ही इंटरनेट की शुरुआत हुई थी हर पैनेट पे केम इंटरनेट वन थिंग दूसरा डब्ल्यू 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 के बाद ही दिस दिस द कॉमन मैन गॉट एक्सेस टू दिस इंटरनेट इट गॉट ग्लोबल एक्सेस तो ग्लोबली लोग इस नेटवर्क को एक्सेस करने की पोजीशन में आए दैट दैट आफ्टर द इन्वेंशन ऑफ वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब जिस प्रकार हम सब जितने भी लोग इस समय इस इंटरेक्शन में हैं द वे वी ऑल हैव अंडरस्टूड इंटरनेट द वे वी ऑल हैव एक्सपीरियंस्ड इंटरनेट द वे वी हैव लर्न इंटरनेट टू यूज इंटरनेट the way we have been using internet that started with that started with www all right 
बिफोर डैट थिंग्स आर नॉट डैट सिंपल लेट मी टेल यू हम लोगों ने वो फेज देखा है एट डैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वी नीड टू हैव बहुत डॉस वर्जन में हर चीज रहती थी एंड अगेन यू रिक्वायर्ड लॉट्स ऑफ कमांड्स और उन कमांड्स की वजह कमांड्स को टाइप uh, करके ही आप एक्सेस कर पाते थे नेटवर्किंग को नेटवर्किंग uh, को यूज कर पाते थे तो ब्राउजर्स की जो शुरुआत थी ब्राउजर्स की शुरुआत डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू के बाद ही हुई एंड ब्राउजर्स ने दिस जो सर्फिंग दिस इंटरनेट जिस द यूज ऑफ इंटरनेट द यूज ऑफ दिस नेटवर्क बिकेम क्वाइट 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 इजियर इट इट बिकेम क्वाइट सिंपल तो जो इंटरफेस बिकेम यूजर फ्रेंडली So this also happened after WWW. अगर मैं इमरजेंस की बात करूं तो शुरुआती दौर में शुरुआती जो दौर था जब इंटरनेट की शुरुआत होती है ग्लोबल एक्सेस जब इसको मिला तो स्टार्टिंग में कुछ सिंपल वेबसाइट सामने आई जितने भी जो जो रिप्यूटेड कंपनीज थी या रिप्यूटेड बॉडी कॉर्पोरेट थे वेदर प्राइवेट और गवर्नमेंट देवर कमिंग अप विदर ओन वेबसाइट मैं आपको इनिशियल लेवल की अगर बात बताऊं तो आ, हम लोग जब आ, जब स्टार्टिंग में इस चीज को इस चीज से जुड़े थे तो आ, मैं करीब बहुत पुरानी बात आपको बता रहा हूँ उस समय अगर हम आ, अच्छी वेबसाइट की बात करें तो अमूल अमूल की वेबसाइट को बहुत अच्छा माना जाता था अमूल अगेन दिस कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी ऑफ गुजरात उसकी वेबसाइट को बहुत अच्छा माना जाता था अगर इंडियन इंडेक्स की हम बात करें तो स्टार्टिंग uh, के दौर में जो वेबसाइट्स आई दे वर वेरी सिंपल इन नेचर सिंपल नेचर का मतलब ये है कि द वेबसाइट्स द वेब पेजेस दे वर वेरी सिंपल दे वर पैसिव इन नेचर दे वर क्वाइट पैसिव कि जो वेबसाइट्स होती थी केवल वो चार पांच पेजेस की होती थी द ऑल वर इंटरलिंक विद इच अदर और वेबसाइट्स में बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन होती थी केवल किसी भी इंस्टीट्यूशन के बारे उसका मिशन क्या है उसका विजन क्या है उसकी हिस्ट्री क्या है उसके ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर क्या है कॉन्टेक्ट डिटेल्स क्या है इट तो विद द सिंपल इंफॉर्मेशन द वी हैड जस्ट सिंपल वेब पेजेस वी जस्ट हैड सिंपल वेबसाइट्स नथिंग एल्स अब टाइम बदला टाइम के साथ साथ फिर जो वेबसाइट्स थी ये अगेन दे बिकेम डायनेमिक और डायनेमिक वेबसाइट्स का दौर आ गया डायनेमिक वेबसाइट्स में बहुत सारे प्रोविजन्स आ गए आपने देखा होगा कि आज मूविंग मूविंग इमेजेस क्रॉलिंग इमेजेस अगेन फीडबैक्स तो बहुत तरीके के डाउनलोडिंग फॉर्म्स अगेन ऑल डेट हैज बिकम ऑल डेट हैज बिकम रियलिटी तो सिंपल वेबसाइट्स के बाद सिंपल वो जो फेज था वो एक दूसरा जो फेज इमर्ज हुआ डेट वॉज द फेज ऑफ डायनेमिक वेबसाइट्स तो डायनेमिक वेबसाइट्स डायनेमिक वेब पेजेस का टाइम आ गया एंड अगेन वेबसाइट्स बिकेम क्वाइट डायनेमिक और अलग अलग तरीके के एक्सपेरिमेंट होने लग गए वेब डिजाइनिंग एक बहुत बहुत बड़े लेवल की वेब डिजाइनिंग होने लग गई इसमें बहुत सारी स्क्रिप्ट्स भी भी स्क्रिप्ट हो गया और भी जो एच के भी जो एडवांस जो एडवांस जो फॉर्म्स थे उनको यूज किया गया सॉफ्टवेयर्स को डेवलप कर दिया गया था तो इस तरीके से यहाँ पर चेंज हमने देखा इसका इमरजेंस होने लग गया साथ में ही अगर हम 2000 की हम बात करें 2000 के और बात करें तो उसी समय ही टू करीब 2004 2005 के आसपास जो सोशल मीडिया जो सोशल मीडिया जो प्लेटफॉर्म्स थे उनकी भी शुरुआत होती है तो ट्विटर हो गया आपका यूट्यूब हो गया देन और कोड फेसबुक ऑल डैट ऑल डैट बिकेम रियलिटी इट इट स्टार्टेड एज अ स्मॉल थिंग एंड अगेन धीरे धीरे इसका डेवलपमेंट होता गया और आज के अगर हम आज के हम करेंट स्टेटस की अगर हम बात करें तो टुडे वी आर लिविंग इन एन एरा वेर वी हैव मशीन लर्निंग मशीन लर्निंग हैज बिकम वेरी एडवांस वी हैव आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बहुत ही बहुत ही ज्यादा बड़े लेवल पर बहुत बड़े लेवल पर डेवलप हो चुका है आपने एक चीज ध्यान दिया होगा कि वेन वी रिसीव अ मेल तो मेल का क्या बेस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट रिप्लाई होगा तो डेट इज समथिंग विच इज सजेस्टेड बाय द मेल सर्विस यू आर यूजिंग तो हम समझ सकते हैं कि कितना चीजें एडवांस हो चुकी हैं अगेन डिसीजन वुड बी योर्स की वेदर यू वुड बी गोइंग बाय दैट रिप्लाई और नॉट बट आप ये समझें कि वो आपके आपके टेक्स्ट को पढ़ के आपका कंटेंट को एनालाइज करके आपको बेस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट रिप्लाई सजेस्ट कर रहा है तो आप समझ सकते हैं कि किस लेवल की प्रोग्रामिंग हो चुकी है आज चीजें जो है वो कन्वर्ज हो चुकी हैं अगेन फॉर विच 
वी रिक्वायर्ड रेंज ऑफ डिफरेंट डिवाइसेस आज हम सिंगल डिवाइस से हर 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 उस हर उस क्या कहते हैं क्या कहते हैं हर हर टाइप की सर्विस 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 की फैसिलिटी ले पा रहे हैं तो डेट हैज बिकम पॉसिबल बिकॉज ऑफ द कन्वर्जेंस तो दिस इज अ करंट सिचुएशन वेयर आर सिस्टम आर it has become linked it has converged and uh, it, at the base we have artificial intelligence at the base we have machine learning at the base we have new and new techniques which are coming up day in day out so this is a level of this is a level of development uh, that had taken place this this is something which has taken place so uh, agar mai uh, again let me take you back to the let me uh, let me take you back to the uh, uh, the webs uh, that that uh, slide which i was sharing with you uh, this is uh, is it visible to everyone yes yeah, sir okay so this is uh, what i was talking about uh, we have artificial intelligence and again this is considered to be the mother of all revolutions and uh, often jitne bhi major revolutions pehle ke hue hain inke sath hum jab comparison karte hain to we consider it mother of all revolutions the way it has changed everything the way uh, we are talking about smart cities everything has changed and uh, again internet has penetrated everywhere no no corner of the world is left where we don't have this network it is everywhere and uh, this is the this is uh, where you will uh, have that impression that how it has its usage is growing in asia since 2000 and again numbers are again uh, numbers are going up like anything and this is the scenario even in india and there is no exception in india also user base is increasing uh, day and day out and again for our every service for our day to day activities for every kind of service uh, we uh, we have different apps we have different sites we have different applications so we have become so dependent on dependent on this uh, cyber space and again everything is uh, on just a uh, finger tip and it has become so advanced that uh, again with a single touch we can we can we can we can initiate the services you would have seen that uh, everything every every everything has become touch screen everywhere we have touch screens and uh, again this is a level of development that has taken place and today it won't be wrong if i if i say that our computers have network and they have become a telephone they have become our post office they have become our bank they have become our library even this class we are having this interaction we are having this is because of this technique this technology so this is a level of advancement and uh, one more thing please always remember and uh, this is very important which again you can use and you can always work upon at critical infrastructures of every country they have become dependent on cyber space critical infrastructures agar hum baat kare to every country uh, 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 there are certain infrastructures which are which are basic for every country all right and uh, here we have uh, the critical and we we call them critical uh, infrastructure and uh, uh, these are b- without which we cannot uh, we, we cannot have a, we cannot have any kind of development we cannot have we cannot have any kind of progress in a, in a country so critical infrastructures ki list mein hum there are lots of uh, there are lots of such uh, uh, there are lots of infrastructures like uh, the the banking the the transportation the power sector the agriculture the industries the defense so all that comes under critical infrastructures and today the reality is that uh, they have become dependent on cyberspace but sir aapko books mein mil jayega ye with the invention of printing press and with the invention of a sailors meter ये दो इन्वेंशन हुए थे मिडेवल टाइम में मिडेवल टाइम में प्रिंटिंग प्रेस की वजह से बहुत बड़ा चेंज आया था प्रिंटिंग प्रेस की वजह से ही न्यू आइडियाज डेवलप हुए थे शेयरिंग ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन डिसेमिनेशन ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन शेयरिंग ऑफ नॉलेज बिकेम पॉसिबल बिफोर डैट वट एवर नॉलेज डेट एग्जिस्टेड वट एवर इंफॉर्मेशन डेट एग्जिस्टेड 
uh, that was confined to few either it was confined to royal families or it was confined to church so it was with the invention of printing press that sharing of information became possible so our same role is being played by internet beta today the thing is the way uh, the way uh, we are aware the way we we are sharing our information again that has another challenges but the the but that has made a sharing of information sharing of knowledge easier so same role is being played by internet and second thing was uh, with the sailors meter the compass ki jab avishkar hua to uski wajah se new routes were discovered new continents new countries were discovered and now the same thing is happening with internet internet has a uh, killed distance and uh, again the whole world has become borderless and again uh, every nook and corner is just one click away so, and uh, again we can reach anywhere we can we can send our messages uh, anywhere within a fraction of seconds so this has become possible because of internet so again we will come down to come back to the point where i said that it won't be wrong if we consider information digital revolution as the mother of all revolutions so this is just to give you an idea about the the emergence of cyberspace now we would be coming to the third aspect and uh, here i uh, let me uh, let me again point out that this is where we would be talking about the legal aspects here we would be bringing into our discussion bringing into our interaction the regulation part here we would be talking about the legal aspects aur jo hamara jo major focus hoga wo do cheezon pe hoga ki regulation of cyber space ki hame zarurat kyun padi aur dusra international level pe kya developments hue aur in the in the light of that uh, indian 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 uh, uh, indian setting india mein kya settings ki uh, and uh, india mein kis tarike se regulation ko uh, ko sthapit kiya gaya so this is uh, what we would be covering so again please pay attention now we would be um, uh, after this uh, up, uh, after this introduction to uh, after introduction to cyber space after the going through the emergence of cyber space now we would be in in the uh, like moving further and here we would be talking about here we would be bringing in a regulation of uh, cyber space अगर रेगुलेशन ऑफ साइबर स्पेस की बात करें तो देर इज अगेन नोशन वेयर ऑफन द थिंग बिहाइंड एवरी लॉ देर इज एन इंटेलेक्चुअल डिबेट एंड बिहाइंड दैट इंटेलेक्चुअल डिबेट ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट फ्रेंड्स दैट वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम विच हैज टू बी एडजस्ट सो हियर ऑल्सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट लॉ सो द फोकस इज ऑन द साइबर लॉ वी हैव टू द इंटेलेक्चुअल डिबेट हाउ इंटेलेक्चुअल डिबेट टू प्लेस हु वर involved in that intellectual debate and what was the problem which uh, was addressed which had to be addressed we need to be clear with all this all of this so in this regard uh, again here the cyber law we have it is no exception and behind cyber law also there were certain intellectual debates and behind those debates there was there were certain problems which had to be addressed so now we would be talking about this aspect and again we would be coming down to the the regulation part we would be coming down to what were the factors that led to enactment of uh, the cyber, uh, cyber 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 legislation and uh, uh, ac around, across the across the world and even in india so to understand this to understand this scenario uh, let's start with this uh, uh, development that took place in uh, 1945 and uh, this was the establishment of un uh, un has been playing a very important role i would be coming down to that and uh, here let me tell you that uh, uh, we we had this un in 1945 and then the second thing which we have to keep in mind is the 1945 to 1966 period of decolonization decolonization here means that the former colonies they were becoming uh, independent countries and uh, they were becoming independent countries and uh, the the thing was that uh, 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 lots of uh, these these countries were uh, these were former colonies uh, under uh, under foreign rule and uh, now they were becoming free independent countries so this is time period 1945 to 1966 and uh, till 1960 in if we talk about 1966 uh, please keep in mind we had around 100 independent states 
hundred independent states. And uh, again, uh, there was a big, uh, uh, the biggest challenge at that point of time in the year 1966 was that uh, these uh, states uh, were newly independent countries, newly independent states, having zero experience of administration, having zero experience of governance. How, how, how to develop harmony uh, um, among these states was the biggest challenge at that point of time. And one thing, please uh, keep in mind that uh, after establishment of UN, after establishment of UN in 1945, whenever there has been any 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 big any any big international challenge or any big social change, uh, the thing is every everyone has looked towards every eye has been on UN. Today also you can relate this that uh, again uh, the war is taking place between Russia and uh, Ukraine. And again, what we are talking about uh, every day, every day, you would, have, you would have seen that there are discussions that what role UN would be playing and how UN should step in, UN should stop this war. Meaning by whenever there has been any big change, whenever there has been any big challenge, uh, everyone has looked towards UN because UN came up with this, UN was established with this, with this motto that it would be solving issues of economic, social, cultural nature so this is the thing here also when we had a hundred a hundred states so to, to how to develop harmony among these 100 states this was the biggest challenge and everyone was looking towards un un had a, lots of op options at that point of time it would it would have lots of options and again let me explain you this uh, with the case study i often Want good relationship between India and Pakistan, there are different approaches. Okay, one approach can be we can convene a, a we, we can convene a match, say cricket match, and um, again uh, with the understanding that uh, that convening that tournament, convening that match, again things would be things would be cordial, and uh, the friendship would be developed between India and Pakistan. But uh, unfortunately, when 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 we when we organize when we convene such tournaments, things go other way around. All right, things become tense, and this is related to the the sports like cricket, hockey, and when we move further, when we shift towards boxing, judo, karate, the things become worse. So, uh, so again, uh, the whole the whole idea of promoting uh, friendship, uh, the the whole idea of developing harmony, it it goes down, and again things go in the wrong direction when we go for this approach. Another approach has been another approach has been when when it comes to India and Pakistan, another practical approach or practically we have been successful in promoting good relationship between India and Pakistan. When 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 we have when we have uh, when uh, we have promoted trade between between India and Pakistan. Whenever there has been any agreement on trade, wherever there whenever there has been any commercial commercial agreement related to commercial activities, related to any kind of trade. Again, the thing has been, practically it has been seen, it, it practically it has been experienced that uh, the, 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 uh, the contentions they, 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 have, they have resolved. And again, it has developed good relationship between India and Pakistan. So here, the second approach, the practically which has been very, uh, very successful for India and Pakistan, this approach was taken by taken 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 by UN uh, UN in 1966, and they came up with this idea that uh, to develop good relationship between be, between uh, 100 states between uh, the then independent states, uh, they would be promoting trade between trade among these states, and uh, again for that for that they required a specialized body. And they came up with this UN settle in 1966, UN Commission on International Trade Law. I repeat, in the year 1966, to promote, to develop trade among trading relation uh, among uh, 100 states, uh, UN uh, under UN, under the edges of UN, UN settle was established, UN Commission on International Trade Law was established. And the primary objective of this uh, specialized agency under of UN was to promote 
international trade and uh, again promoting international trade they wanted to promote harmony among among these states and uh, so with this with this un settle came into picture and please always remember friends that the un settle later played a very important role in the cyber regulation so then we came down to this phase 1969 we have talked about we had arpanet then we came down to 1989 world wide web with which uh, with which uh, uh, we uh, we had that internet thing and uh, one more thing one more thing that happened because of uh, world wide web i had told you that uh, world wide web was the biggest game changer uh, browsers came into use interface became user friendly uh, people common man got access it became global it became internet in two terms and one more thing which uh, i deliberately not shared at that point of time that was a commercial use it shifted towards commercial commercial use so commercialization of internet commercialization of it there were apps amazon and ebay coming up in the year 1994 1995 respectively clear so we reached this level 1994 1995 amazon ebay as a startup they entered and this shows the was a testimony to the fact that internet shifted for commercial use this a commercialization start ho gaya अब अगर आप फोकस करेंगे अगर आप मिड नाइन्टीज की अगर बात करते हैं तो मिड नाइन्टीज में सबसे बड़ा जो चैलेंज था सबसे जो बिगेस्ट चैलेंज था मिड नाइन्टीज का वो ये था कि आ, वो ये था कि एवरी वन वॉज शिफ्टिंग टूवर्ड्स एवरी 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 वन वॉज शिफ्टिंग टूवर्ड्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ट्रांजेक्शन एवरी वन वॉज शिफ्टिंग टूवर्ड्स ऑनलाइन ट्रांजेक्शन ऑनलाइन इन वॉइसेज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इन वॉइसेज Uh, online communication was taking place uh, all right so every everything was becoming electronic everything was becoming digital and uh, at that point of time uh, because of this because of this change that was happening mai repeat karta hu apni baat ko kyunki i would be using this point to explain you further mid 90s was a was a time period where the whole world whole world was was shifting towards was shifting uh, was, was was shifting towards uh, was shifting towards uh, electronic transactions electronic invoices online transactions everything was becoming electronic everything was becoming digital and at that point of time at that at that point of time the the biggest challenge was the biggest challenge was that how to how to how to how to how to uh, provide how to how to provide uh, legal sanctity to how to provide legal sanctity to these uh, new 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 form of transactions getting it the biggest challenge at that point of time was that whether we had adequate rules adequate regulations adequate laws adequate legislations rules regulations laws legislations were we having adequate guidelines were we having adequate ad, ad, adequate arrangements whether we were having efficient effective enough rules regulations guidelines laws legislations arrangements whether we were having a effective legal regime or not this was the biggest challenge of that part of time hum shift to ho rahe the the whole world was shifting towards new 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 kind of transactions new kind of communication new kind of bookkeeping new kind of accounting but were we having enough laws were we laws were we having uh, adequate laws this was the biggest challenge at that point of time and this was the biggest challenge and again always remember whenever there has been any big challenge i have been repeating this i have been uh, i have talked about this that every i every i has been on un so here also here also the i were on un and 
everyone was looking towards you and that in this changing scenario in this changing situation in this changing world you and should step in you and should come up with certain standards should should come up with certain policies and again uh, in the light of which things would be changing here uh, in this regard in the in the relation to this development in the relation to this change that 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 that, that happened uh, what came from the un side was uh, was un central model law on e commerce this came up in the year 1996 we have talked about un central which was established under un in the year 1966 after 30 years un central came up with model law on e commerce in the year 1996 getting it so this is these were the these were the developments in the light of which we came down to 1996 where we had this un central model law on e commerce 1996 mein un central model law on e commerce aata hai and again you would have gone through in your international law classes that whenever anything is appreciated isko kafi appreciate kiya gaya and uh, the thing was that uh, jab practically jab kisi cheez ko appreciate kiya jata hai to un general assembly passing a resolution usko adopt kar leti hai so here also same thing happened in the next year 1997 un general assembly sanyukt rashtra ki jo aam sabha hai isne resolution pass karke is model ko adopt kar liya और मॉडल को एडॉप्ट करने के बाद बाद व्हाट हैपेंड वाज कि यूएन जनरल असेंबली ने एक सर्कुलर भेजा था सर्कुलर वाज सेंट टू एवरी मेंबर कंट्री एवरी मेंबर कंट्री वाज सेंट अ सर्कुलर अब उस सर्कुलर में क्या लिखा था दिस इज यू हैव टू ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड सर्कुलर मेंशन दैट इफ यू हैड एनी सच इन दैट सर्कुलर इट वॉज रिटर्न दैट इफ यू हैड इफ यू हैड एनी एनी सच अगर आपके पास कोई इस तरीके का कानून है कोई कोई भी फ्रेमवर्क है लीगल फ्रेमवर्क है देन यू री फ्रेम इट देन यू री डिजाइन इट इन द लाइट ऑफ इन द इन द इन द लाइट ऑफ यू एन सेंट्रल मॉडल लॉ ऑन ई कॉमर्स एंड इफ यू डोंट हैव इट मैंशन इट ऑल्सो मैंशन डेट इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी सच लॉ इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी सच अरेंजमेंट इफ यू डोंट हैव any such rule then you come up with a new one then you frame a new one then you design a new one in the light of un central model law on e commerce india being a member country india being a founder country founder member country india being a, a, a honest or uh, dedicated uh, member country we received this and again the onus was on our shoulders and uh, to come up with a law in this regard to come up with a regulation in this regard to come up with a legislation in this regard and accordingly it bill was prepared it bill ko prepare kiya gaya and uh, again it bill was getting passed in both the houses and receiving the assent of the president and uh, it became it it act so information technology act was enacted in the year 2000 which is again uh, which is in effect since 17th october so is tarike se we came down to the it act the so called cyber law of our country and uh, not only in india it uh, the, the 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 same the same things uh, the same development happened in many other countries where there were no such laws so laws were framed in the light of un settle model law on e commerce so un settel model law on e commerce played a very important role in the framing of in the designing of our it act of our cyber law and we came down to the year special year for us the year was 2000 and it act was enacted so we had that information technology act in the year 2000 any 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 query uh, any query tell here anything you want to ask here at this moment of time all right so we came down to this uh, we came down to uh, the time period where we had this it act now we will move further so with this we are done with the this 
regulation part we came down to it act uh, it bill getting passed in both the houses and receiving assent of the president this was this was this was uh, it act was enacted in the year 2000 now moving further now there are certain things which you have to be clear with first is first uh, first uh, is that uh, when this it act was uh, when when it act was enacted amendments were made to four 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 acts all right uh, first was first was amendment was made to ipc 1860 and here the reason was the reason why it happened the reason was that uh, that that new kind of crimes they were coming up so in the light of that in the light of that development um, again amendments were made to ipc to again take into consideration those new emerging crimes second important thing second important change second important amendment was made to the indian evidence act 1872 indian evidence act again new kind of a, a new kind of a, a new kind of evidences they were coming up and uh, to provide legal sanctity to provide a legal sanctity to the online evidences again it was required so indian evidence act 1872 was also amended in the light of uh, in, in in the light of uh, Uh, the IT Act. Third thing, third important act which was amended was the Bankers' Books Evidence Act, 1891. Before this, before this, whenever there was any issue related to banking, related to any bank, again uh, all kind of accounting books, जितने भी भाई खाते थे सब लेके जाने पड़ते थे. And again, whether it required four trolley or five trolley, every every book had to be taken uh, before had to be presented before. Uh, before the court and today uh, today when it has become possible to produce uh, the evidences the bankers book evidences in the in the in the in, in electronic form well also the the amendment that took place in the bankers books evidence act 1891 then the fourth you which you have to always keep in mind is the the change the amendment that was made to the rbi act 1934 uh there were new kind of uh, new kind of uh, uh, the, there were new realities at that point of time and the government wanted to promote new kind of transfers so you would have seen that today we have nft we have rtgs we have imps we have upi so all that all that required all that required a legal sanctity so reserve bank of india act 1934 was amended to provide legal sanctity to Uh, these online transactions so please be clear with this with these four uh, these four uh, amendments that, that 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 took place apart from this apart from this if we talk about uh, this it act uh, please remember now we would be focusing on the it act the different provisions we had under it act in total we had uh, 1 3 13 chapters and uh, again uh, which are Which are which are divided into, or in total we have around 90 sections under IT Act. So 13 chapters and 90 sections. And uh, if we talk about, if we go through, and uh, please I would request everyone uh, again. We may belong to any. We we may be uh, linked with any other subject. We may be uh, uh, we may be of any uh, uh, you can say any field, but. Uh, the the way things are developing we need to be clear with the law we have so i would request everyone to please have a bare act of it act and again this is freely available you can download it also so if we go through the if when you go through the bare act when you go through the initial pages you will find that uh, there are two main objectives it is mentioned that uh, behind the enactment of behind the enactment behind the designing of it act there were two main objectives first was to promote e commerce in the country and second was to promote e governance in the country i repeat there were two main objectives uh, behind the behind uh, the this uh, behind the enactment of it act behind the uh, this designing of it act first was to promote e commerce in the country and second was to promote e governance in the country all right first was but obvious first was but obvious to promote e commerce in the country uh, why i am saying it was but obvious because something 
something which was based on human settle model law and e-commerce one of the objective had to be promotion of e-commerce in the country so one was to promotion of e-commerce in the country and second was promotion of e-governance in the country all right so let's move further let's see what we had under these two agar hum pehle objective ki baat kare e-commerce ki to e-commerce again is something which uh, has become very popular uh aapne dekha hoga ki filhal uh, abhi uh, the recent years uh, especially after this covid 19 uh, whatever the commerce the, the the developments the major developments that have taken place Com- uh, uh, in the commercial sector they were they were uh, uh, dependent on this e-commerce thing the whole economy now 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 is being ruled by e-commerce if we talk about e-commerce e-commerce ko ek provide karna ek bahut bada challenge tha and uh, this with this idea with this idea even settle model on e-commerce was 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 designed and in the light of that again we have seen that the it act was uh, enacted e-commerce ke liye to provide legal sanctity to e-commerce there were there were from legal point of view always remember there were three fundamental requirements three first was authenticity of sender authenticity of sender uh, again agar koi send us uh, uh we we need to be in a position ki hum isko ensure kar sake ki who actually is the sender hum sender ke authenticity ko fix kar sake pehli cheez second message integrity agar koi message ek node se dusri node ki taraf jata hai from one person to another person if if a message goes then during transit during transit there is no tampering there is no tampering this has to be ensured अगर कोई किसी को मैसेज भेजता है मैं आपको मैसेज कोई भेजता हूं तो अगेन ड्यूरिंग द ट्रांजिट उस 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 जो जितना भी टाइम लगेगा उस दौरान देर इज नो टेम्परिंग इसको हमें इंश्योर करना है सो मैसेज इंटीग्रिटी को हमें इंश्योर करना है थर्ड थिंग इज नॉन रेपोडिएशन नॉन रेपोडिएशन अगेन द थिंग इज की अगेन अगर से आई सेंड समथिंग टू Uh, uh, Kritika ma'am. So again, Kritika ma'am cannot falsely deny that uh, again this uh, that uh, uh, I haven't received that. All right. So non-repudiation is that thing. Meaning by that the receiver cannot falsely deny that uh, he or she has not received that. So these were the three fundamental requirements which were uh, which which were essential for providing legal sanctity to e-commerce. and uh, to pro uh, to provide to meet these fundamental requirements to 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 uh, to to, to uh, meet these 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 uh, these these uh, these basic requirements again world over world over internationally uh, encryption has been used encryption encryption is again something uh, which we have been using where we change a simple simple thing into a gibberish form a simple name into gibberish form uh the thing is ki uh, only the person who knows the who knows that code can decipher can know what is written all right otherwise uh, for another person for a third person it would be meaningless so encryption ko hamesha se use kiya gaya aur encryption ka hi ek jo tarika hai practical jo tarika hai wo cryptography hai to so, cryptography ko use kiya gaya cryptography ek technique hai encryption technique hai encryption method hai and uh, cryptography may again uh, different keys are different keys are used or uh, again cryptography ek 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 prakar hota hai jisme ki we have a private key we have a public key and uh, uska jo best example hai uska jo practical example hai that is the concept of digital signatures introduce kiya gaya digital signature ko jab hum fix karte hain अगेन uh, उस वजह से अगेन वी प्रोवाइड वी प्रोवाइड लीगल सेंटिटी टू डेट ऑनलाइन ट्रांजेक्शन ऑल राइट तो डिजिटल सिग्नेचर्स को 
अलग अलग जो ई कॉमर्स के जो मॉडल्स हैं चाहे वो बिजनेस टू बिजनेस हो चाहे वो बिजनेस टू कंज्यूमर हो चाहे वो कंज्यूमर टू बिजनेस हो चाहे वो कंज्यूमर टू कंज्यूमर हो और चाहे वो कोई भी इसका एक और एक ऑफ शूट हो या एडवांस वर्जन हो एडवांस मॉडल हो दिंग इज कि डिजिटल सिग्नेचर्स आर बींग यूज डिजिटल सिग्नेचर्स को जब हम जब हम यूज करते हैं जब हमें रिक्वायरमेंट होता है मैं एग्जाम्पल आपके साथ शेयर करता हूँ कि फॉर कंपनी रजिस्ट्रेशन डिजिटल सिग्नेचर्स आर मैंडेटरी प्रोविजन आपने देखा होगा कि जो आई uh, uh, भी है आई में भी एक ऑप्शन होता है कि डिजिटल सिग्नेचर आप एफिक्स कर सकते हैं साथ में ठीक है तो दिंग इज की वी रिक्वायर डिजिटल सिग्नेचर्स फॉर कमर्शियल एक्टिविटीज और डिजिटल सिग्नेचर्स सर्टिफिकेट्स होते हैं डिजिटल सिग्नेचर सर्टिफिकेट्स को खरीदने के लिए अगेन वी हैव टू पे अमाउंट एंड ओनली देन वी रिसीव दिस सर्टिफिकेट कुछ टाइम पीरियड के लिए आपको मिलता है से यू यू परचेज इट फॉर वन ईयर आई थिंक इट इज एटलीस्ट फॉर वन ईयर यू यू कैन बाई एंड अगेन देर आर सर्टिफिक अथॉरिटीज अगेन विच आर डिफाइंड अंडर सेक्शन सेक्शन टू जो है हमारा आई टी एक्ट का वी हैव डेफिनेशन सेक्शन टू वन जी में सर्टिफिक अथॉरिटीज आर डिफाइंड सर्टिफिक अथॉरिटीज आर द अथॉरिटीज विच इशू डिजिटल सिग्नेचर सर्टिफिकेट तो हमें हमें अप्रोच करना होता है सर्टिफिक अथॉरिटीज को और जब सर्टिफिक अथॉरिटी हमें डिजिटल सिग्नेचर सर्टिफिकेट इशू करती है देन वी बिकम द सब्सक्राइबर द सब्सक्राइबर इज अ पर्सन ऑन हुज नेम डिजिटल सिग्नेचर सर्टिफिकेट हैज बिन इशूड तो सब्सक्राइबर की जो डेफिनेशन है सेक्शन टू वन जेड सी में मैंशन है सर्टिफिक अथॉरिटी वी हैव एंड वी हैव सब्सक्राइबर तो ये एक ब्रॉड शॉर्ट एक एक शॉर्ट में आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू गिव यूर इम्प्रेशन एट वॉट वी हैव अंडर ई कॉमर्स ई कॉमर्स इज वट एवर वी वर डूइंग वट एवर कॉमर्शियल एक्टिविटीज वी वर डूइंग इन ऑफलाइन वर्ल्ड नाउ दे हैव बिकम नाउ डेट हैज बिकम पॉसिबल टू डू इन ऑनलाइन वर्ल्ड एंड दिस इज द पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ ई कॉमर्स and in this regard these were the three fundamental requirements authenticity of sender message integrity non repudiation and for this we have been using digital signature certificates jiske naam pe digital signature certificate issue kiya jata hai usko subscriber kaha jata hai jo issue karte hain wo certificate authority hote hain to again this is the thing certificate authorities ko central government ek par ek license deti hai to issue uh, the, the certificates and again we approach them and we uh, we 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 buy uh, such certificates and we use them wherever it is required all right so this was uh, related to uh, e-commerce uh, now we will take 2 minutes break after 2 minutes break we will uh, we will continue with the with the further further developments in this regard so just 2 uh, minutes break we will meet after 2 minutes
ओके सो वी हैड सीन द इनेक्टमेंट ऑफ आई टी एक्ट इनेक्टमेंट ऑफ आई टी एक्ट देन विद एनेक्टमेंट ऑफ आई टी एक्ट चेंजेस आर मेड इन फोर एक्ट आई टी सी इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट बैंकर्स बुक एविडेंस एक्ट एंड द आर बी आई एक्ट देन वी केम डाउन टू द फैक्ट दैट अदर अदर फैक्ट वी हैड वी हैव थर्टीन चैप्टर्स नाइनटी सेक्शंस एंड देर आर टू ऑब्जेक्टिव फर्स्ट वॉज टू प्रमोट ई कॉमर्स इन द कंट्री इट वॉज वट ऑबियस बिकॉज इट वॉज बेस्ड ऑन जू एंड सेटल मॉडल ऑन ई कॉमर्स सो इट हैड टू बी देर देर आर थ्री फंडामेंटल रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑथेंटिसिटी ऑफ सेंडर मैसेज इंटीग्रिटी non repudiation which had to be met and for that world over the practice has been we have always uh, relied on encryption encryption technique like cryptography and uh, one is uh, this uh, digital signatures and digital signatures are we have we have been have we have been using and uh, again uh, when we purchase certificates digital signature certificates we are called subscribers and uh, those we have to approach certificate authorities for that second objective which you have to be clear with which has again the legal uh, the 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 legal connection that is the promotion of uh, promotion of e governance in the country so let's go to that just uh, let me share again so this is uh, Uh, is it visible? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So this is the second aspect, e-governance. E-governance is dealt under Chapter Three. We have a dedicated chapter under IT Act that deals with e-governance. Here we have Sections Four to Section Ten A. It provides for legal recognition to e-records, Section Four. Then legal recognition to e-signatures, Section Five. Then Use of e-records, use of e-signatures in government functioning section six. Then uh, it is it is uh, we have under section seven that if any uh, e-record, if any in, if any record has to be uh, has to be maintained, has to be retained for uh, for a for a particular period of time, it can be retained in e-e form. So this is what we have under section seven. Then we have section eight. E-gazette is there. Uh, गजट अगेन द थिंग इज की फॉर नोटिफिकेशन फॉर गवर्नमेंट नोटिफिकेशन वी ऑलवेज लुक टूवर्ड्स गजट नाउ द थिंग इज की वी हैव दिस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फॉर्म ऑल्सो ऑफ दिस एंड अगेन दिस इज समथिंग प्रोवाइडेड इन द सेक्शन एट देन वी हैव लीगल रिकग्निशन ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फॉर्म थ्रू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीन्स दैट इज सेक्शन टेन ए तो जस्ट कीप दिस इन माइंड दैट ई गवर्नेंस इज ऑल्सो 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 Uh, has been taken into consideration under IT Act. Or e-governance. Ki main ek baat apse aur karunga. Please uh, be clear with this. Ki governance is something very important. Governance is something which starts from our birth and it is till we are on this earth. All right. We have to deal with lots of lots of lots of authorities. And uh, that the uh, the government services the the facilities which are provided by from the by the government. to the citizens and uh, again when the services are provided when those facilities are provided using information communication technology then it come, then then it comes under the purview of e governance e governance is something a world bank has been focusing upon world bank has done lots of work in this regard and again let me share that uh, those who have interest they can they can work in the field of e governance they can have their own take on this they can they can they can they can, they can research on legal issues social issues and many other aspects related to e governance so using ict when the services are provided from the government and they come under the scope of e governance e governance ke bahut sare uh, popular projects hain the most popular one uh, with which uh, with which uh, we all can link is the irc tc thing IRC TC again uh, something uh, very important. 
IRCTC we have been using uh, the railway uh, reservation we have the most popular one. This is the example of uh, e-governance. Then we have e mandi bhav, and again we have ITR e filing. We have MCA twenty one. Let me tell you that uh, since the uh, long since long uh, period, uh, whenever we uh, uh, this uh, Ministry of Corporate of Affairs uh, for company registration task, and they have been inviting everything online. MCA twenty one is their portal, and again those who uh, those who are linked with corporate law, those who are into this company registration thing, uh, you would have seen that. You would have noticed that they don't they don't invite anything in the offline mode. And you even you go you visit them, they don't entertain you. They they always uh, suggest you to go uh, uh, to go online. So MCA twenty one is that uh, portal which they have. So in this regard, there are lots of there are lots of this way there are lots of uh, e-governance projects that are that that are functional that are operational, and at every level, at central level, at state state level, at district level, and uh, again e-governance has been has been going up like anything. Uh, e-governance. If we talk about it, if I want to discuss it with you, then you can understand that e-governance is also happening in India. इट uh, कुछ फेजेस में इसकी शुरुआत हुई थी इन द इनिशियल स्टेज वी हैड कंप्यूटराइजेशन जो इम्पोर्टेंट ऑफिस थे इम्पोर्टेंट ऑफिस को कंप्यूटराइज किया गया एन आई सी रोल एन आई सी प्लेड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल नेशनल इन्फॉर्मेटिक सेंटर इट प्लेड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन कंप्यूटराइजेशन इंपॉर्टेंट ऑफिस वर इक्विप्ड विद कंप्यूटर्स लेटर दीज कंप्यूटर्स वर नेटवर्क तो कंप्यूटर नेटवर्किंग वॉज द सेकेंड फेज सेकेंड स्टेज ऑफ ई गवर्नेंस इन आर कंट्री कंप्यूटर्स आर नेटवर्क एंड अगेन द कम्युनिकेशन बिकेम इजियर बिकेम स्मूथ इसके बाद इंडिया में जो इंटरनेट की जो शुरुआत हुई थी दैट वॉज इन दर सो इट वॉज इन दर जब इंटरनेट की शुरुआत इंडिया में हुई थी and at that point of time जैसे कि हम लोग डिस्कस भी कर चुके हैं कि जो कुछ गवर्नमेंट जो मिनिस्ट्रीज थी कुछ गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट थे कुछ गवर्नमेंट ऑफिस थे जो कि अपने सिंपल वेबसाइट्स को लेकर आए थे ठीक है तो दे इंट्रोड्यूस्ड दे केम अप विद दे स्टार्टेड विद सिंपल वेबसाइट्स एंड विच हैड जस्ट फोर फाइव पेजेस बेसिक जानकारी होती थी ऑफिस के बारे डिपार्टमेंट के बारे मिनिस्ट्री के बारे डेट सेट Uh, बाद में ग्रेजुअली 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 द थिंग वॉज ग्रेजुअली द गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट द गवर्नमेंट ऑफिस दे शिफ्टेड टूवर्ड्स डायनेमिक वेबसाइट्स तो जो वेबसाइट्स हैं गवर्नमेंट की भी वो भी काफी एडवांस हो चुकी हैं विद पैसेज ऑफ टाइम एंड अगेन फीडबैक हो गया डाउनलोडिंग हो गया अगेन वीडियोज हो गए ठीक है देन अगेन बहुत सारे कंटेंट हो गए बहुत सारे लिंक्स हाइपर लिंक्स एडवांस लिंक्स ये सब की शुरुआत हो गई और अगर हम आज के सिचुएशन की बात करें ई गवर्नेंस की तो वी आर गोइंग थ्रू द स्टेज ऑफ मोबाइल गवर्नेंस वेयर नाउ एवरी वन विद द रेट गोइंग डाउन एंड अगेन विद द स्मार्ट फोन बिकमिंग चीपर and again government and especially in the last 2 3 years where we have we have been going through this crisis the thing is the governance activities governance also is taking place online mode and in this regard mobile governance is playing a very important role so different apps the government departments government offices government ministries they are coming up with different apps using which they are providing services so तो मोबाइल गवर्नेंस का जो आज का जो सिचुएशन है आज का जो स्टेज है वी आर गोइंग थ्रू द मोबाइल गवर्नेंस सो दिस इज दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच आई वांटेड टू हाईलाइट हियर सो दिस इज व्हाट वी हैड रिलेटेड टू ई गवर्नेंस एंड ई गवर्नेंस के बारे 2006 से गवर्नमेंट का एक और फोकस है दैट इज दैट इज दैट इज ऑन दिस दिस प्रमोशन ऑफ ई गवर्नेंस इन द कंट्री एंड अगेन मिशन मोड प्रोजेक्ट्स के फॉर्म में मिशन मोड प्रोजेक्ट्स के फॉर्म में गवर्नमेंट फंडिंग करती है एंड अगेन इट इज बीइंग इम्प्लीमेंटेड और ई गवर्नेंस में एक और सेक्शन है विच इज वेरी विच इज विच इज विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड अगेन डैट टॉक्स अबाउट पब्लिक प्राइवेट पार्टनरशिप वेयर द गवर्नमेंट प्लेयर दे आर रोपिंग इन 
प्राइवेट प्लेयर्स टू प्रोवाइड ई गवर्नेंस फैसिलिटीज इसको मैं आगे आपको एक्सप्लेन करता हूँ तो दिस 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 वाज़ द रेगुलेशन पार्ट नाउ आई वुड बी कमिंग टू द फोर्थ द फोर्थ द फोर्थ हेडिंग विच आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर विद ऑल ऑफ यू एंड अगेन हियर वी वुड बी इन द लाइक दिस वी आर लेफ्ट विद द फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ हेडिंग तो हियर वी वुड बी स्टार्टिंग विद द कि जब आई एक्ट हमारा जब बना IT Act was enacted in 2000 in the year 2000. So, what were the initial challenges? Initial challenges को कैसे face किया, कैसे उन चीजों को overcome किया गया इस चीज पे हम focus करेंगे. So, we are done with the uh, emergence uh, with the introduction to cyberspace. We are done with the emergence of cyberspace, and uh, we are done with the regulation. How the regulation came into being? Regulation of cyberspace came into being. now we would be shifting our focus towards the fourth heading that is the initial challenges sabse pehla jo challenge tha that was related to jurisdiction jurisdiction kshetra adhikar aapne kai jagah kai baar isko is pe charcha ki hogi aur hamesha aapne ek cheez ko samjha hoga ki jurisdiction is something very important kshetra adhikar has to be proper jurisdiction has to be proper. If we talk about administration of justice, if we talk about delivery of justice, if we talk about rule of law, if we talk about constitutional protection of constitutional values, if we talk about constitutionalism, if we talk about any good thing related to law, if we talk about any good thing, any good jurisprudential aspect, we will we will always support that jurisdiction has to be proper, and with respect to cyber world, with respect to the way things are happening in the cyber world the way things are the developments are taking place in cyber space we often talk about jurisdiction even in our uh, normal conversation we always talk about ki jurisdiction is something very challenging okay uh, you would have seen ki kai baar jo victims hote hain they are in different countries jo perpetrators hote hain they are in entirely different a uh, diff- different part of the world so again the challenge is ki how to fix their accountability how to how to how to bring them into in, in, into 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 your net how to how to how to uh, how to come how to bring them in, in in the jurisdiction how to apply jurisdiction here so this was the biggest challenge aur yahan pe main aapko bata dun ki this uh, this was a big challenge before the government and uh, in this regard not only for india it was a big challenge for 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 uh, for all countries and here the approach the world has taken is the approach taken by the us there is a reason why there is a reason why uh, when it comes to jurisdiction why uh, the world over the nations have looked towards uh, us the reason is the reason friends is that uh, the us was of uh, this internet is a product of us internet is a product of us whatever developments took place in internet whatever advancements took place in internet they initially they they they, they developed in us so naturally naturally it was us which confronted for the very first time it was us which confronted which had to face for the very first time disputes of different nature disputes cyber disputes of different nature were faced by the us for the very first time so it was us judiciary it was the government of us which for the very first time came up with certain theories certain tests certain philosophies certain directions again again which were used to provide jurisdiction which were used to fix jurisdiction so us for the very first time came up with certain tests certain approaches certain theories certain notions again which were used to fix jurisdiction which is considered to be an essential element of administration of justice so here this effect test target approach these were these were some good tests which were which were which were developed in us and which have been which have been which have been which have been which have been
different high courts the supreme court has used these these the, the, the said approaches to fix jurisdiction so is pe main main example ke sath aapko cheat samjhata hu ki again it is seen whenever there is a cyber conflict it is seen that what was the effect where was the effect felt of that particular activity what was the target all right you would have seen that when the kisan andolan was going on so there was a case filed against a lady from a lady from new zealand i think so and uh, again uh, the the approach here was that uh, why the jurisdiction was proper because whatever she wrote whatever uh, whatever she commented that had that that was targeting india so because of that approach because of because of that target because of that effect felt in india again jurisdiction was jurisdiction was considered to be proper and regarding jurisdiction let me tell you we have section 1 sub clause 2 we have section 75 sub, sub clause 2 under the it act which provides us the jurisdiction power and again regarding jurisdiction let me let let me make it very clear that our it act is effective enough again it provides jurisdiction all right there are many other challenges i am not denying that there are there are no challenges but to but to apply jurisdiction again there are provisions under it act and again using the different test different approaches uh, which were which were started in which was started in us again this 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 issue has been settled so now the thing is whenever jurisdiction has to be applied wo alag baat hai ki again order is not uh, order is not implemented there are many other issues but jahan tak keval jurisdiction ki baat hai the jurisdiction can be fixed so this is uh, how this initial challenge was was handled now coming to the second second uh, thing that is limitations of digital signatures uh, here we have to understand that uh, why we require why we require signatures why we required uh, handwritten signatures so this is something uh, again uh, this is something related to the limitations of spoken words when we speak something again uh, once uttered whatever we speak it cannot be reproduced all right so in order to overcome this limitation uh, related to spoken words we came down to the stage of handwritten signatures handwritten signatures was were, uh, were used again to fix accountability iske baad jaise jaise badlav aaya computer yug aaya to fir we shifted towards digital signatures aur jab it act hamara jab uh, it act ko banaya gaya to we had this concept digital signature हमने इसको इस कॉन्सेप्ट को लिया बट देर वर सम गुड थिंग्स देर वर सम बैड डेवलपमेंट्स आल्सो विद द आईटी एक्ट बिकॉज अगेन इट वाज अ हेस्टी डिसीजन आईटी एक्ट को बहुत जल्दबाजी में बनाया गया था इंडिया में कई बार आप इस, इस इसका इसके बारे में पढ़ेंगे इन डिफरेंट बुक्स और कुछ अच्छी चीजें भी थी और कुछ कमियां भी थी उनमें से एक जो लिमिटेशन था वो ये था कि हमने डिजिटल सिग्नेचर के कॉन्सेप्ट को इनकॉर्पोरेट किया था जबकि उस समय मतलब आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ईयर 2000 एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आल्सो द कांसेप्ट ऑफ डिजिटल सिग्नेचर हैड बिकम ऑब्सोलेट सो नाउ द थिंग वाज कि वी वी हैड टू वी वी हैड टू शिफ्ट फॉर समथिंग न्यू एंड हियर द थिंग वाज कि एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इन यूएस इन यूएस वी हैड दिस कांसेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर सो द रिक्वायरमेंट वाज फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर हियर टू अंडरस्टैंड वी नीड टू बी क्लियर विद द डिफ difference between digital signature and electronic signature digital signature is again jaise ki humne baat ki thi digital signature certificates hote hain hame requirement hota hai uska agar hame company registration karana hai to director ke paas digital signature certificate hona chahiye hum certificate authority ko approach karte hain wahan se hum purchase karte hain 12 1300 rupees mein humko digital signature certificate mil jata hai hum usko fix kar sakte hain wherever it is required clear digital signature certificate was that based on cryptography all right now the thing is ki the 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 limitation with the limitation with digital signature was the concept of digital signature was the concept the the limitation with the concept of digital signature was that wherever whenever 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 any whenever there was any change in the technology whenever there was any change in the technique every time uh, amendment had to be done in the um, amendment had to be done in the law So this was the biggest limitation. So we can understand that uh, uh, technology changes overnight, 
and again to change the law is is quite difficult in a country in a diverse country like india that is quite difficult to to come up with the amendments to go for amendment wherever whenever there was any change in the technology to hame ek is tarike ka ek concept chahiye tha which was this uh, uh, which was uh, technologically neutral to फिर हमने जो 2008 का जो अमेंडमेंट किया 2008 में एक मेजर अमेंडमेंट हुआ था आई एक्ट में जिसको 2009 में लागू किया गया उस उस अमेंडमेंट में द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर इज अ टेक्नोलॉजी अ न्यूट्रल कॉन्सेप्ट एंड अगेन दिस इज दिस इज अ न्यू थिंग एंड आज आप देखोगे बेर एक्ट में द वेर एवर डिजिटल सिग्नेचर इज रिटर्न ऑब्लिक करके इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर दिया हुआ है या और करके इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर दिया हुआ है तो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर आज का युग जो है आज का जो टाइम है इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर का है इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर एक बहुत ब्रॉडर कॉन्सेप्ट है यहाँ पर टेक्नोलॉजी बेशक चेंज होती रहे हमें लॉ को चेंज नहीं करना पड़ता इसका इतना ब्रॉड स्कोप है और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर में डिजिटल सिग्नेचर भी आ जाते हैं डिजिटल सिग्नेचर सर्टिफिकेट्स भी आ जाते हैं इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर में हम जब अपना नाम लिखते हैं किसी अपनी जब किसी को मेल भेजते हैं उसमें अपने नीचे पर नाम लिखते हैं डेट इज ऑल्सो कंसिडर टू बी आर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर हम हमारा जो बायोमेट्रिक है वो भी हमारा इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर समझा जाता है आ, हम एक पीस ऑफ पेपर पे अपना साइन करके उसको स्कैन करके अगर किसी को भेजते हैं डेट इज ऑल्सो कंसिडर टू बी आर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर तो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नेचर का जो कॉन्सेप्ट है जो टेक्नोलॉजी न्यूट्रल जो कॉन्सेप्ट है इसको इंट्रोड्यूस करके इसके साथ हमने डिजिटल सिग्नेचर की जो लिमिटेशन थी इसको हमने खत्म किया इसको इस चैलेंज को इस इनिशियल चैलेंज को इस तरीके से हैंडल किया गया एक और चीज हम आज डिस्कस करेंगे फिर देन वी विल वी विल एंड टूडे सेशन देन रेस्ट वी विल कंटिन्यू टूमोरो डेट इज अ डिलीवरी ऑफ सर्विस बाई सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स ये एक ई गवर्नेंस से जुड़ा हुआ चैलेंज है चैलेंज था कि डेट इनिशियल स्टेज गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट गवर्नमेंट मिनिस्ट्रीज गवर्नमेंट ऑफिस दे वर नॉट हैविंग दैट एक्सपर्टीज दे वर नॉट हैविंग द नॉलेज दे वर नॉट हैविंग दैट एक्सपर्टीज दे वर नॉट हैविंग द रिसोर्स ऑल्सो सो सर्विसेस को प्रोवाइड करने में एक्चुअली दे रिक्वायर्ड द हेल्प ऑफ प्राइवेट प्लेयर्स प्राइवेट प्लेयर्स को हम कैसे उनके साथ पार्टनरशिपिंग करें कैसे हम उनके साथ एक पार्टनरशिप में डेवलप करें उसके लिए देर वॉज नो लीगल सेंक्शन तो सेक्शन सिक्स ए को इंकॉर्पोरेट किया गया को इंसर्ट किया गया ये भी 2008 के अमेंडमेंट के बाद किया गया था सेक्शन सिक्स ए के बाद ही पब्लिक प्राइवेट पार्टनरशिप को एक लीगल सेंटिटी प्रोवाइड की गई अंडर द आईटी एक्ट आपने देखा होगा एग्जांपल आपके साथ शेयर करता हूं कि आधार कार्ड जब इशू किए जा रहे थे बेटा तो देर वॉज नो वन फ्रॉम देर वॉज नो वन फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट साइड वी हैड प्राइवेट प्लेयर्स ठीक है तो डैट was possible because of section 6a section 6a had made that possible passport seva kendra hai theek hai aaj aapne dekha hoga ki jo passport ki jo facility hai jo passport ko itna aap acche se ab jaldi ban jate hain to this is because of the tcs tcs is involved in that so tcs ki madad se hi jo ministry of external affairs hai unhone ye uh, passport kendra develop kiye hain to again the thing is ki ye iska most successful jo model hai wo build on and transfer hota hai इनिशियल लेवल पे एक काम एक जो काम है वो दे दिया जाता है प्राइवेट प्लेयर को कुछ टाइम तक वही उसको ऑपरेट करते हैं बाद में जब अपना जो कॉस्ट रिकवर कर लेते हैं बाद में डेट इज ट्रांसफर टू द गवर्नमेंट सो विद दिस सेक्शन सिक्स ए अगेन दिस 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 इशू वॉज सेटल्ड एंड पब्लिक प्राइवेट पार्टनरशिप वॉज वॉज प्रोमोटेड सो वी आर वी आर डन विद द टूडेज दिस सेशन all right so we have started we have seen we started with the emergence of uh, cyberspace and then uh, evolution of cyberspace and we have talked about the challenges how challenges were taken care of and uh, again we will continue this for tomorrow all right so that's it from my side for today we will continue ओके सर थैंक यू सर बहुत अच्छा लेक्चर रहा सर साइबर स्पेस पे आज आपका थैंक यू सर